here I've given 12 activities just for illustration and example. So the first kind of waking state is insanity. It is very rare, but everybody goes through it. In when are the other part of their lives are there are minute states of insanity that last for a few minutes to some hours. Everybody has them. But if the insanity dominates, we call that person a lunatic. We call it a mental disease. But everybody gets it. When you are very angry, there are moments where the control is completely gone. Even though that person is totally awake. They are in the waking state here. In the waking state, the characteristic is that the body is active and even the lower layers are active. And many times the middle layers are also active. If there are no survival pressures, then the activity can shift or gets biased towards the higher layers, sometimes depending on the attention and interest of the person or because of the survival needs, mostly the activity remains in the lower layers, including the body. The body is active. The second kind of um, waking state is the disturbed state, which everybody goes through. At least there are a few moments in the day when we are disturbed. The disturbance involves irrational thoughts, just like insanity. But there is a little bit of awareness that I am disturbed, I am agitated, I am stressed, I am anxious. In insanity, there, is a, there can be the same situation, but there is a total loss of control and awareness. There are times in our lives when we spend many, many days in days disturbed. You're fired from your job and for many days you are disturbed. There are random thoughts in the mind. There is negativity. There is a deluge of emotions of many kinds. Then there is the criminal state of the waking kind where a person is deranged. It's almost borderline insanity and it is a disturbed state. But there is enough attention to do the higher activities such as planning and uh, assessing the damage, assessing the risk, all these, a little bit of intelligence is still there. But uh, because it's a criminal kind of activity, there is total loss of what is right and what is wrong. This uh, discrimination is not present. Or that which is wrong can be seen as the only right. In other words, the criminal state is a distorted state. But that person looks like any ordinary person. What is going on in the mind is completely distorted. So you already know the criminals, the murderers, the thieves and the criminal states are also present in highly manipulative people, jealous people, greedy people, evil and cruel people and unethical people such as politicians. They dwell in this state for most of their day. Violence, bad behavior, insulting behavior. There, there is a list of behavior which points to the presence of this state, which is well studied in psychology and all. All these three states are studied because they are risky states. The states that I am going to describe later, they are hardly anybody touches them because they don't come under mental diseases category. The fourth waking state is stupidity or retardation. This state, the person is usually confused about everything, does not know what to do. There is no confidence or there is too much confidence, overconfidence. And the activity of that person is usually random. It is not goal directed or the goals are assumed randomly. There is no intelligence there. They are active because they are active. And these people also can cause a lot of harm, although there is no intention there or the intention is also stupid. So this can also come under some kind of mental disease, but because it is so common, people don't see it as a disease. This is a milder form of mental diseases. The next one is the egoic activity in the waking state. And this is by far the most dominant activity in humans. The characteristic here is survival, accumulation, defense, feeding, reproduction, climbing the social ladder and other kinds of egoic activities. And just like the name says, the identity is most active here. Such a person is considered normal, but it is a very faint kind of mental disease. If it happens too much, if they are busy in the egoic activity from morning to evening and also in the night, and this goes on and on for many months and many years, for the better part of their lives, then it is a mental illness. 
for a human the survival should be very easy this activity should not take whole of their lives and whole of their day and it is also dominated by all kinds of emotions on which the person has no control at all and so here we can see a gradual shift of the activity to the higher layers from the lower and a gradual increase in organization and meaning and a gradual decrease in entropy there is more structure and meaning here and they are more positive so there is a in between activity i am calling it a shifty activity where the activity shift from the lower to higher and higher to lower sometimes it is insanity sometimes stupidity sometimes egoic sometimes the person is rational aware and peaceful and this is the condition of many people also but they, there is a shift towards the higher side here finally the activity is trying to shift to the higher side but it falls to the bottom activities to the lower kind of activities in the first kind of higher activity is imaginative state this is also waking state and higher layers are engaged here there is no insanity there is no cyclonic activity of the ego there is hardly any stupidity although there can be but uh, there is introversion here a little bit of awareness shifts to the inner side it's not totally in the world and here happens the creation of arts so not only survival not the bare bones of survival something more is getting added here the state can shift to a rational state where the intelligence awakens where the logic arises and here for the first time that person or that creature is seen as highly goal directed that is the definition of intelligence it's a goal directed activity so nothing useless nothing stupid nothing insane or disturbed is allowed here there is high amount of awareness and only rational and logical actions they take place here and you can see it is very rare to find somebody in this state it happens for a few hours even in the most rational person it does not last for 24 hours and definitely does not last for whole year or whole month in the rational state happens all the science and technology and mathematics and other higher human activities that involve that require great intelligence but it is possible that the rational person may not achieve anything he is very rational he is very intelligent but probably there is no imagination probably there is no motivation there is no egoic activity to put that rationality into practice so we can see another higher state here which i am calling as concentrated state where the rational abilities the logical abilities and attention has been mastered now they do not fall into the lower states the concentration is so developed that such a person is not going to shift to any other activity if it is not needed it is a more advanced kind of waking state where there is a complete awareness of what is going on although in the concentrated state the awareness of who is active who state it is that can be completely absent which means the knowledge of the experiencer is completely absent it is possible it is possible to be concentrated without this knowledge but it can be seen as a higher form of intelligence unlike rationality it, is, it does not come and go it's very stable there is a even higher kind of waking state which i am calling as aware state here for the first time the knowledge of the experiencer arises this happens as soon as there is the essential knowledge which means the knowledge related to the experiencer there is self realization it is extremely rare to find such a person who is aware or who is always aware the awareness can also come and go which we call as the remembering and all it it can come and go it is a state so the activity can increase or decrease the concentration mixed with awareness forms a more stable state so you can call it the samadhi states and all different kinds of samadhi states a seeker on the path of knowledge is trying to get here and that is why you will see stars in front of those states they are desirable states for a seeker when the awareness is commanded when you get a complete control over the awareness concentration rationality etc there is a state where peace is achieved 
Such a state is not shifty. The person is well balanced, highly aware, and the awareness does not fall. It does not come and go. I am calling it an equanimous state. This can extend into other states of dreaming and sleep. It is possible. So, equanimous state is simply a stabilized awareness, and there is a broadening of attention. We saw in the animations before that the attention has uh, two dimensions. There is a direction or there is a position and there is range. So a concentrated state involves a narrow range of attention. In awareness, the attention increases in range. In equanimous state, it is possible to broaden it to 360 degree. It can be an awareness of everything at once. This is the equanimous waking state. Very rare, so I only found in masters. Even beyond the equanimous state is... a state which i am calling as absorbed state which you cannot really call it as waking state in the absorbed states all the states are seen as one state so you can also call it the fourth state where the awareness is so strong so intense that the difference between the dreaming sleeping and waking disappears now it is all waking so instead of putting it under any other state or calling it the fourth i am simply calling it a special kind of waking state so the characteristic of this state is that all activities are seen we become aware of all the activities of the whole structure of memory not only that we become aware of the group memories and sometimes even the greater memory the attention can be shifted anywhere in the greater memory which means you can look into the minds of other people you can know what is happening in some other country some other world some other universe that becomes possible in the absorbed state because it is not a narrow attention the attention has widened so much it can be shifted to any place in the whole memory structure now this is indeed rare and it will be very difficult for me to provide you with any kind of evidence for it so the only way to know that these states are here is by experimentation by practice simply knowing the names of these states is not going to do much it seems like cooked up to those who are at the lower states who never go to the higher state for example a stupid person does not know what is a rational state because it is a higher state a disturbed insane person does not know imaginative state they cannot do anything creative an egoic person a shifty person does not know what is awareness the lower states do not know the higher states because they are states of the lower layers there is general rule that the only the higher layers can know the lower layers the lower layers cannot know the higher layers a layer can control and become aware of the lower activities that are below it not something which is above it so a rational person does not believe in awareness or equanimous or even absorbed mind because it's a lower layer comparatively a person in the concentrated state has no clue about what is what it is like to be equanimous in the higher state know what all other states are a highly aware person can immediately recognize all the insanity disturbance all the stupidity and egoic activity and can instantly control it it is possible A rational person when he encounters ego intense egoic activity is actually going to help that activity thinking that it is my activity because there is no discrimination here what is me and what is mine the intelligence is serving the lower layers here so you will find even criminals are very rational and intelligent sometimes a greedy businessman or an unethical politician they are highly rational they are also imaginative but their mostly their waking state is dominated by egoic layers by egoic activities and all these layers they assist to carry out the egoic goals they are suffering and they are causing suffering it is a disease the person looks like very intelligent and rational and has a lot of money and is has a lot of social status also but is actually insane because of the lack of awareness there is no equanimity and we can forget about the absorbed state so you see not all humans are equal because they are divided by what kind of activity dominates their lives all these activities they happen actually just like i said 
it is not that one of the state will be completely absent they are all there but they are so attenuated they are beyond our perception there is always one layer one activity that will dominate a person only when you gain sufficient control over these states you will be able to shift the activity you will be able to control the activity and then that ends the mechanical behavior the animal tendencies that can be controlled now in a human this is only the waking state there can be more states within the states for example there can be a very helpful person who is also egoic he asks for money when he helps he says i am serving you pay me the money and he is he is not a bad person that is very very much acceptable behavior so though all those people who are doing jobs they are like this so you can you can add more states here if you want the more you study the finer your discrimination will become your discernment will show you that probably there are more states here there are more activities and obviously there can be a mixture of some activities and obviously the attention shifts and the states change knowingly and knowingly intentionally and intentionally mechanically under control so the whole waking state becomes a very very complicated affair there is no surprise that nobody knows about all these things because it is a very difficult subject so we are still left with two more states to explore which are the dreaming and sleep and you will be surprised that there are more sub states there compared to the waking state as always it is surprising how deep the illusion is so we are going to study them in the next part 